Hi guys, welcome back. So here we have the dried version of the truing pour that was very much a lot darker and very much a lot less, a lot more smoother compared to what it was before. This is because it's created this kind of rippling effect like breaking and separation because of the nature of the board. The board, if I can show you, is a wood chip board that was originally part of my IT desk. Um, we got rid of it because I was getting a new one. Um, I chopped it up, did a pour on top of it, I will link below the video. And within an hour, this kind of feature started to pop up, which was really strange. And I was like, okay, so something wrong with it. And then I realized when I looked at that gap there at the top because of the way it was lying and drying, I was like, oh no, we're going to be in for a bit of shock because this has happened before. You can pretty much peel this off and try and prime it, but I have primed it about three times and it's still making the same old marks. I do have to admit, I quite like it. It's very tree barky and it gives a kind of sense of depth to it. It's very exaggerated here, but over here it's very much more subtle, so it kind of gives a sense of depth as if this is the tree and that is in the background. So for me, I think I'm going to keep it. How I would seal it though, because it might have silicone in it, normally I still haven't worked out which cup has the silicone in it and it's driving me nuts really. Um, the reason why I'm telling you that is because if you have silicone in your acrylic pour, you cannot use resin on top of it because it just doesn't work. It doesn't attach to the board quite well and it just it's like a love-hate relationship. They don't like each other, basically, and it kind of does a similar effect to this, but it just... And it ruins your work that you've put the resin on top of, so that's the reason why you don't put resin on top of something that's got silicone in it. You can use setting spray for this. Normal setting spray, I just use enamel setting spray, clear, make sure it's clear setting spray, and it just gives us, it makes the colours pop out a little bit more and also is beneficial for the artwork as it stops it from getting a bit muddy and actually brings out the colours a lot more because as we know, when you do acrylic pours, when you first pour them, they're bright, they're fresh, but as soon as they start to dry, they dull down either a lot or a little bit. This one has dulled down a little bit compared to what it was at the start, but it in putting that setting spray on it will bring up the colours a bit more and make it much more inviting to look at. So guys I really hope you enjoyed this video, give this video a like if you did, subscribe if you've not already subscribed and also don't forget to check out my description box to links to all my social medias and also my ebay selling account which is where I sell all my artworks including this one. So I shall see you guys next time. Bye!